Uh, it's 5 o'clock and I'm at the Penn Quarter Sports Tavern right now. Uh, it's very exciting. Everyone seems really looking forward to going to the game. When we first arrived, arrived here, there were a lot of Miami fans. Uh, so there's a lot of red and white. Um, and as they've trickled to the game since their game was at 5.30, um, it's kind of all BU's taken over, and everyone seems really excited and pumped about the game. A little nervous at the same time, but it seems pretty good right now. I don't like that the Miami fans are, are also red and white motif. That kind of upsets me a lot, and I really hope that they don't win today because if knock on wood we get through, I, I just don't want all red on, and that would just, uh, that would bother me. Plus, we're really the only people that can pull it off. They don't deserve to be on the ice with the same colors as BU. So it is at 6.43 p.m., the se second intermission. Uh, first game, Miami versus Bemidji State. Miami's looking good, they're up 3-1, and uh, I guess the anticipation is just building. At least we know one team's pulling away, so it won't be the, the usual overtime. We don't have to wait, because I can't wait any longer. I've already waited 11 days. I'm kind of freaking out, and I need to see this game. The anticipation is really just too much right now. So the game's about to start. I'm feeling really nervous. I'm not really sure what to expect uh, from Vermont. Uh, Vermont's a really good team. We've played them twice this season, or three times this season. And um, they beat us twice, and we've won once. Um, it should be a good game, it should be difficult, but I think that the Terriers can pull through. So it's about 20 after 9 and the first period just ended. Most amazing 20 minutes plus of my life. I've been looking forward to this for, for four years and to just to just watch these, these guys are, are, are superhuman. They're, Oh, such a good feeling. I didn't really get the whole I'm at a national championship feeling until Wilson scored that goal. It was amazing. And then J-Lo came back and, and, and did it again, and it just, it's incredible. It's just so great. Two-goal lead is the worst lead in hockey, though. Yeah. And, you know, after the UNH game, we were up one nothing after one, and UNH outplayed us the next two periods. It was a close one, so we just need to keep going strong, keep pushing. Yeah. This is in the UNH game. We were we weren't really playing that much better in the first period, but we walked away with the lead. Uh, this one we're we're just killing them. So it's it's very assuring that we if we just do remotely close to what we've been doing for the next two periods, walk away with a win. Okay, it's the end of the second period, and we just scored the equalizer about two minutes ago. You know, after the first period it was two nothing. Uh, I said this is so long from over this is just the beginning really I mean we weren't as strong second period but we really only had like five minutes there where we let up and those five minutes really cost us so the fact that we were able to come back and tie it up with the, the last few minutes definitely not comfortable but I feel better going into the third period with it being tied than I would have if we had gone into the third having it still be 3-2 Vermont so we'll see I have I have a little I bought cotton candy because it was in a bucket so I have a little bucket next to me just in case there's no there's no energy that like rivals rivals this right here after you know, the stands cleared out except for except for BU and uh everyone in in the sea of red just kind of stuck around and kept cheering on the players and of course they did their normal salute to all the fans and and the band played the song again and Oh my gosh, I, I just can't even, there, there are no words. God bless BU hockey. <laughs> you're going ri to rise to the dead, to heaven on Sunday? Well, it, yeah, it depends what happens on Saturday. <laughs> <laughs>